um, my journey with Christ really doesn't start until he um, called me to be a seer. Um, I grew up in a normal Christian home, um, you know, that I read the Bible every night. I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior when I was five years old. Um, so I had a pretty normal Christian life. Um, my walk with Christ in the battle that I dealt with spiritually wasn't until I was 11 when my seer gifts started. Um, and that's really where I learned to have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with Christ because he was all I had. Um, when my seer gift started again, I was 11, I was a child. And the first thing I started seeing was a shadow demon in my room. And, you know, when you tell your parents that the first thing they say is, oh, you know, you're a child, you'll grow up. It's not the boogeyman, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, no, this is more than just me being 11. This, this is real. This is something because shadow demons would literally come up to my face and I could feel the essence of fear. This was not, this was not a child thing. This was something else. Um, so then I would talk to my church about it and, you know, they don't know anything. They just go, oh, yep, you're a demon child. You're this, you're that. You need to get with Christ, blah, blah, blah. So I was not getting help from the church. I was not getting help from my parents because they really didn't understand what was going on. So I had two choices. And I think anyone that has a spiritual thing happen to them has one or two ways. Uh, they either follow Christ or they go the pagan route and they go this other way. And uh, me being so little... I knew that the only one that was going to help me was Christ, who was going to help me was the Lord. So I remember being 11, 12 years old, being full of anger because I didn't understand what I was seeing and just feeling the anger and the fear of the things that I was seeing and it got to the point where um, I was like, God, I need your help because you're the only one that's going to get me to understand what I'm seeing. You're the only one that's going to help me. And ever since then, it's always been me and the Lord, always, every single time. Everything that I know, demonology-wise, God has taught me or narrated to me or actually shown me. Um, me knowing, having that personal relationship with him, I know my father's voice. So when people come out of the woodwork taking verses out of context, I'm like, no, because I know my father's voice. That That's not what he meant by that. I can tell you exactly what he meant. And it's just because, you know, the Lord is my teacher. He's my father. And even to this day, it's always been just me and him. So, and it, again, it's because I've been through so much in my life spiritually and just with people in general that I have this relationship with the Lord where it, it's like I said, it's just, it's just me and him because it's always has been and it always will be. And I just think, you know, that's, yeah, that's, that's how it started. That's how it is. <laughs>